A super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yishika Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blaubia Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Darkness Falls Mod. So, as you guys can see, our farm over here is starting to grow very, very nicely. Um, I see them mixed match. No, okay, they're just starting to grow a little bit more. That's why the color's changing. But yeah, that, that looks actually kind of prettier for me than this. But yeah, these ones over here are busy growing. Uh, these ones over here are actually busy growing slowly but surely. And then our banana trees and coconut trees over here are also starting to take a nice shape. This looks really, really pretty. Especially with the lights in the background, or even if we come from this side over here. It just looks so nice. Okay, what I am going to do now is we're going to go quickly and get some of these treasure maps because we need some more cash. And then we're going to go to all the Caitlins again and just see if they don't perhaps have those books. Um, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the driving, so it's not too boring for you guys. I've got some gas on me. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be cutting out all the driving, and then I'm just going to go for all of this stuff. Okay, so what I actually want to do is I want to go and see if we can't get the um, Eve uh, quest in. I always get, uh, I, don't, I know, don't know why, but I get confused between Eve and Caitlyn. But yeah, Eve, I want to go do some of her quests again, if we can. Uh, she's all the way over there. So if we can get to her and perhaps redo her quest, we might be able to get a bunker again. Although she might just send us to Anna now again. And unfortunately, I don't know. I'm so glad that we don't have feral sense anymore. <laughs> yes, I remember how many times we actually had zombies fall in on our heads while we were digging like this. And it's, the, it's the worst feeling in the world when you're down there in the hole. And all of a sudden, there's titans and behemoths and stuff right on top of your head. Okay, we're going to go for this drop over there. Then that treasure, treasure, treasure. And then we just need to go down so we can actually reach... Yeah, we're going to go straight down past Razor and then go for these over here. See, this epic thing over there and... Where's that prison that I just passed? This prison over here. They might be really cool for your eyes. They might have the red notes for us. So if we can't make it to the Caitlyn's today... um, we'll, we'll see. I wonder if I should just... Yeah, let's just first go to the Caitlyn's and then come back for those for your eyes. Because if we can buy both books from the Caitlyn's, then we don't need... Oh, we still need the red notes, so it doesn't matter. I just need to kill as many demonic zombies in the wasteland as possible, and hopefully we get lucky and kill one that actually drops a few red notes. But yeah, it's either that or we have to go do uh, Eve's quest again, because that's the only way I can see us getting more red notes. That's if we can do Eve quest again. If not, then we have a problem. Okay, this stuff I'm just going to sell as is to whichever trader we come across first, and let's go. This one was actually outside its circle, like a full meter outside its circle. It's a little bit hard to find. And also my... Yeah, look at this. That's the, that, Those white marks that you see right there, guys, is what I see sometimes in the game. But this is only happening on my um, military tablet, so it's, it has to do with the game settings, I think, then. Visual settings. It was my, uh, if that was my GPU or CPU or whatever, that would have happened even um, if I wasn't really... Doing anything that would have been all over not just on the military tablet since it's just on the military tablet that gives me hope that it's not my gpu okay i managed to just stop almost right on top of this one how close on top this close on top <laughs> right next to my vehicle yeah i need to be careful as you can see on the minimap there's a ton of wolves and stuff um i'm mostly just worried about the wandering hordes normal zombies the uh, little white icons on the minimap i don't mind um, the green and yellow ones are a little bit more tough. I think the yellow represents mutated, um, feral, and tough, right? And then the red ones, um, indicate that there's demons. Yeah, the green indicates that they're radiated. So I, I don't know if the other ones have the same colors or not, but that's more or less what I know the colors to be. Okay, I'm just glad that when you crouch, you don't make too much noise, because this farm next door... Has definitely had uh, the demonic zombies and stuff respawn. Uh, jump, jump, double jump, please. Man, if I get stuck down here with a wandering horde right now. Yeah, look at this. You can actually see it on a fire. You don't even see it. I think even though you can see the demons spawning in, they don't really show unless you're on, uh, on top of that land because there's definitely some cops over there. I saw a demonic cop and a few other demonics over here just chilling. So it's actually super duper dangerous over there. Okay, so we're just going to go straight down to there, which is that direction. I uh, need to make sure we're constantly refueled as well, because we need to make sure we don't run out of gas next to some tough zombies. If I could just get myself some books or schematics over here with a big, big bookstore, that's all we need. Ooh. 
Wait, 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 wait. Pop and pulls. There's a bookstore to my left and a bookstore to my right. I might actually be able to get all my books over here quickly. That is the bookstore, right? Or is the bookstore on the other side? The bookstore is on the other side. But we can get books over here. It's on the top floor and we can get books uh, next door. If I can really make sure we can get these books, it's going to help us out tremendously. I'm going to break through the window over there. It's the safest way to do this. Okay, we don't even need the titanium blocks because we're just going to quickly stack up over here. Nice. If we can get more bookstores like this, it's going to really, really, really help us. Okay, over here we have to break through. I need to make sure that I uh, loot a few of these bookcases before the zombies do some damage over here. But the more books we can get this way, the better. It's gonna, we're going to be able to get so much more done with all these demons over here. So this one's lootable. That one over there is lootable. All the sunken in ones. Oh, and I just realized now they're all sunken in, the ones you can actually loot. Okay, um, now I have to break this apart. Come on. Bookcase, thank you. I want to make sure that the zombies don't go and break the ones I can loot right now. So I'm breaking everything on my own. See, the light brown ones are the ones we can loot. These zombies are all going to come for me right now. And when they come for me, they're going to break all these boxes. I just hope they don't... Ooh, why did I do that? That was a waste. Yeah, there's nothing else over there. Okay, so what I can do is put a turret down, but I don't know if it's going to help. Um, I'm just hoping I can actually not have too many of them crawl at me over here and then die that way. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should be able to do a ton of power attacks, just stun all of them like this. The more they stun and the more they go down, we just need to get their heads. Oh, please tell me that these ladies are going to drop the red books. These scientist ladies, guys, the demons, actually drop the red books that we need. They're going to break this block above my head. We're out a little bit. Every time they shock a bit, I need to try and get to them, but... Yeah, I told myself that if I'm on a one by one, I can't cheat and uh, hit the heads. So if I can do this... Every now and then when they're shocked, I can just quickly take a step outside and go for the heads. Oh, you are still alive. Nice. Please tell me there's red notes over here. One of them had to have dropped red notes. Come on. I had really, really bad luck when it comes to the red nodes this time. In the beginning, because we got the small um, the small bunker so much, we got a ton of the red nodes, and then from there, we've been really unlucky. Okay, if I can just quickly loot all of this. Come on, how many nodes am I getting right now? I needed, I think, like six more to be able to make one marsha book. So if we can now go and either get enough for another marsha book, or we can actually go and get enough for, um, uh, just just enough so we can actually sell, whatever, I don't know. But we just need to make sure we get a ton of these books right Master, now. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, there might be still some sleepers over here, I need to be careful. There's definitely a final stash on that side, but we don't want that right now, we just want the books. I'm literally, I'm a bookworm, a worm, I'm only interested in the books over here. I didn't even know that last time there was a final stash to my right over here. There's literally, if you go inside over there, there's a final stash. But now, though, I'm literally only interested in notes. If we can get a, a 600 notes right now, then we don't have to go to the Caitlyn's. It would be cool if the Caitlyn's actually have what we want, though, so I'm hoping they actually have... Ooh, they almost broke this block. See, that's why I said, it doesn't matter if you're one by one, they can still kill you. Be careful. Okay, so how many notes is that? Oh, nice. That's a nice amount. Okay, and then there's another bookstore I said. On that building over there. A dangerous building. I know there's demons inside, so I have to be really careful right now not to lure all of them outside. I know there's a bookstore over here somewhere. Which one? Which one? That's not the bookstore. Is this the bookstore? I don't think that's the bookstore. I think, no, it's not this one. Oh, we're at the back. This is where we got the uh, quest. No, not this spot exactly, but this pure eye is where we got the one that was bugged. So it's on the so right side of the yard. Uh, yeah, there you go. Crack a book. If I can just get all of these notes over here, I might look at all those books. There's so many books. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Okay, there's a of books over there. Hopefully, they all come to the door. Yeah, lady, come on, right here, right here. 
Yeah. Be careful the other ones don't wake up right now. Crap. Water, water, water. Oh wow. Yeah, come on, go for the heads. The, the hole I'm in right now is a really uncomfortable one. There's balls and stuff on the outside, so this is really dangerous. I don't want to just stay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why are you guys not drop? Ooh, now we can make a gyrocopter. We already have the parts. But why are these guys not dropping? Oh, these are bookcases. I didn't even know these were bookcases last time. Look at this. There's a few over here. We cleared one POI in our town and we never really uh, looted the books in front because I didn't know those were bookcases as well. If I break this, I can get in the uh, I can get in front of it or inside of it and I might be able to quickly get some more. Nah. Oh, that was my oh damn it. As soon as this thing swung down, I was like, oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting some power armor over here, and the power armor is gonna allow us to just Combine it with ours, and then we don't have to make even our own. We're just gonna make it, we're gonna combine it with the ones we find, uh, or with ours that we have on us, the ones we find, and then we can actually just get to level 80 that way. I think most of mine is like the dark purple already. Maybe be careful that zombies don't come from this, uh, outside because there are doors open now. Yep, there's definitely doors open. So any zombie from outside can really come for me right now. Wandering Horde, Demonic Behemoth. <laughs> come on, give me a ton more books. I was really hoping that they, I'd be, uh, be able to find a really big bookstore and just get all the notes we needed that way. See, the one we had in our town, we actually climbed to the wall over here. Behind that box, we climbed to the wall. But then we had a wandering horde come for us and break the block on top, so we had to. We didn't have any safety to hide on. So I decided, you know, let's just, let's just book it. We don't want to die from a dumb attempt. But there's a zombie outside, not even trying to get inside right now. I don't think he even knows we're here. Okay, so now all we have to do Master, is go and... I'm going to keep on driving and see if we can't find another bookstore. But I doubt there's any more bookstores over here. If I drive up over here, there might be some more. And then we have to turn left and go to... E over there. And there are some more towns, so we might actually be able to get all the books we need. We have a hundred and something. So if I need, if I could get like 400 more from a nice big bookstore, we don't have to go to any of the Caitlin's. Which would actually save me so much time as well. Ooh, bookstore. Although I don't think this place actually has a ton of, no, they didn't really have books in there last time. I remember that place. I need an actual bookstore right now. Like an Alpha 20 or Alpha 19, ooh, what the hell? Alpha 20 or Alpha 19 books. So as you guys can see, we're already getting so many errors because this game is actually busy breaking. Okay, yeah, we don't see any more bookstores. I'm just going to keep on going. Okay, so this town also has this kind of bookstore. I'm just wishing I could actually see a normal cracker book because a normal cracker book would definitely... Ooh, there's demons sleeping over there. A normal cracker book would definitely have some um, stuff for us that we need. If I take one normal Alpha 19 cracker book, we'll be able to clear all of this easy. All of it. I'm on fire. No, I'm not on fire. Oh, I was able to get out at the back. Nice. Okay, be careful. I don't break the block above me. I just need to shock as many of them as possible. Mostly if you shock one, you shock all of them. If you're really lucky. Nice. Was that all of them? Yeah, cool, 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 cool. But we want to make sure they don't break too much stuff over here. The more frames and doors and stuff that break, the more zombies can actually come in from outside. As long as all of these bookcases at least have one book, at least, uh, then we should actually be able to get all of the notes we need. I'm still thinking of at least going to Caitlin, uh, to all the Caitlins, and seeing if they have for us, because, I mean, just now they actually have the books, so it saves us the effort of going to make them. I mean, if I'm like 50 short, I'm going to be so like, oh no, I need 50 more. But by then, we can just buy schematics from the uh, Caitlyn's. Only problem is we wouldn't know. We need to be know beforehand that they're not going to have it, so we know to buy schematics from all of them anyways. Otherwise, we have to backtrack and go to all the, uh, the Caitlyn's again. It's just going to be <laughs> a little bit over the top to go back and forth like that. Come on, give me something good. But now I think we know all the schematics because I haven't seen a schematic 
It's been a really long time since so I've actually seen a schematic that we still need. I think we know all of them. Which is really, really cool. Okay, um, book. Are there just two next to each other? Or yeah, there's only two next to each other. Empty. Ooh, a bookcase up there as well. Yeah, I destroyed the other one earlier accidentally. Okay, we're gonna keep on going. We have how many notes? 200 and something. Not bad. If we have like 300 and something more, we'll be able to go and... Let's see, there's no streamer. If we get 300 or so more, we'll be able to get the two marcher books in no time. I'm just gonna keep on going through over here and I'll see you guys as soon as we get to Eve. Damn, guys, it was worth a try, but it seems you can only visit Dr. Anna again. You can't do another quest for her. That would have been so easy to get uh, get some more red notes. So what I'm going to have to do is either find another small bunker. I wonder if it's there. Uh, we either have to uh, find another small bunker, or what we're going to have to do is... Um, yeah, just go for the big bunker. The big bunker will have red notes. It just sucks, though. Although, I think what we're going to do is let's go for the Capons. And then what we can do is... We will go for like the Where's UK facility and military facilities and stuff first because you might get lucky with red notes there. Uh, the more scientists and stuff there are, the more likely you are to get those red notes. So there is a massive prison that I want to go for and there is that U Where's UK military facility. But if we can go for those, we should technically get all the red notes we still need. Okay, so now I'm going to have to be careful. It's almost night time. I want to get out of this waste and, and uh, up to the trader as soon as possible. Let me just mark Caitlyn over there. Yeah, if we could just get to Caitlyn as soon as possible, uh, that's going to be awesome. Um, we need to be out of this wasteland area, the, the destroyed stone area, before nighttime. So, um, yeah, and uh, Caitlyn, I want to see if I can't buy myself some stuff as well. Now my screen is starting to flicker again like crazy. It has definitely to do with the textures. I wonder if it's a combo pack or if it's just... I wonder. Um, the map might be too big as well. Because every now and then, uh, what you guys saw on my military tablet before is uh, flickers on my screen. But sometimes the recording software doesn't pick it up for you guys. And just uh, other times, like while I was streaming, people said, oh yeah, we saw that just now. Oh, don't get stuck over here, Jean. Don't get stuck over here. If you get stuck in between two demonic gates. Okay, so please, 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 please have that red book for me. UH 60, we don't need. Mechanic, yes! We're still going to try and fill others uh, now as well, so we don't have to make them. But now I can actually make the other one easily. Imagine she has both. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Okay, I need to scrap everything else. Uh, or not scrap, sell everything else to her. And yeah, we're just going to quickly go to all the other Caitlyn's as well and see if they perhaps don't have the other book we need. Guys, we literally only now need... Uh, that's not a mechanic. It's, yeah, Farmer Class. If we can get the Farmer Class right now, that'd be awesome. Also, probably get some healing from you if you have these... Yeah, don't have eating. So I'm, I'm going to have to see if I can't get some antibiotics from one of the Caitlyn's. Because I'm not doing that well at the moment. And yeah, we don't want to die right Thank now. Thank you. Nice. Doo -doo -doo. We just need the farmer glass. This one still... Remember that one was pushed back by a zombie? And then this one spawned in behind it. It didn't even give the other one a chance to die. I just decided, oh yeah, well, I'm going to spawn in. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on going to the other Caitlyn. And yeah, we just need to make sure we get some healing before nighttime. There's so many demons and stuff walking around. Well, especially at night time, there's going to be more demons walking around, so we have to be so, so careful right now. If I can get lucky and get those notes, this is going to be so awesome. So we just need the farmer class. Come on, farmer, farmer, farmer. Okay, she has schematics and stuff. I see, now I want to buy these schematics. The book is supposed to be under... Yeah, I, I'm actually going to buy some schematics. The book is supposed to be under... No, but we have enough notes in the base. We definitely have enough notes to the base now. So I'm going to go for this, Caitlin, over here. Uh, which is a market there. Go for this one. And then, yeah, we, we just need to look for labor. We have the notes at the base to make the labor if we wanted to. It's just that I want to see if we can't buy it. If we can buy it, we can buy it. And then we still need to go for, like, military places to see if we can't get those red notes. Also, I drove past the Wandering Horde. Um, there were four demonic zombies in front of me. And when I checked again, all of a sudden there was, like, a wolf and radiated, um... Titan and stuff, so they definitely already spawned. Which means I don't have to worry about them. What I could actually do is camp out one of these uh, demonic gates. All you have to do is sit outside one gate, build yourself a quick titanium um, POI, um, just sit outside the gate and put your turrets on top of the roof. As soon as the demons spawn in, you can just use some laser tech and then hopefully you get some uh, red notes dropping like that. 
That's actually a possible way to do it. I have to stick to the left. That'd be kind of cool. Imagine you can actually do it that way. Okay, so leave the gas, leave the gas, leave the gas. I will quietly park over here. That's why I'm not using any gas when I get here. There might be some bookstores and stuff. Oh, still over here. I hope I don't get the attention of the other ones in the area. Come on, don't do that. Okay, I need some healing as well before I die from infection. Nice. Okay. Um. Ooh. Antibiotics. There you go. And that's all we need. Oh, wait. We need more. No, we need rotting flesh, not nitrate. I'm going to buy some more. No, I'm afraid if I buy some more, I, I won't have enough. I need to be careful. <laughs> if I accidentally buy stuff right now that I'm not supposed to buy, I might not have enough if we Thank get the book. You. And then we can use the uh, notes. Guys, a lot of you are asking, why don't I just make the um, the book, the Boshi book my own? Because I can. The thing is, if I don't make it, I can use those notes for generic notes and I can actually have some more skill points to use. Not only that we really need the skill points, but we could go and max out all of our um, settings and stuff. All of our skills we can max out. And look at all these demons over here. Damn. You just see explosions and carnage all over because they're vomiting as they go for me as well. As I drive past them, they vomit. Okay, so I just uh, drove right past an incubus demon. That's not scary at all. Okay, let's see, let's see. Schematics, schematics, nah, okay. It's actually a pretty Goodbye. big waste driving to all of these. You know, there's only one Caitlyn left. Let's just go make our own book. I know we, I know we said we can actually use those other notes, but... Yeah, um, I'm actually thinking of going for this, for those red notes. Obviously, we don't have uh, the gear right now. We need food, we need medicine, we need a ton of stuff. And we need a ton of pulse grenades if we want, if we want to clear this place. But yeah, well, this is where we're going to have to get those red notes. Although, I am going to try and do these pure eyes of here. Wait, no. These two pure eyes of here, they might actually have what we want. Um, we already worked through that whole town over there. I wonder if there's any bookstores in this town. At the moment, we're currently up here. If we can find a bookstore over here and get more notes, that, that would actually help us. Although, like I said, it doesn't really matter whether we have those books or not. But what I'm actually thinking is just taking this road. Ooh, there's that facility over there we can actually go for as well. I'm thinking of taking this road out. Um, out of the danger zone and then just quickly seeing what this POI is. And then, uh, I don't know if we should or not. I'm going to see what the PI is, whether it's going to be worth looting or not. And then we have to go back to the base and make that last Marshy book. We literally just need one more Marshy book, guys, and we can make it. We have the notes and the points and everything to make it. I just hope when I drive away from here now, we don't get stuck on anything and get vomited to death. Technically, look at all these demons. They're just all over. And they're the easy ones. There's definitely some other stuff just walking around over here that's super super dangerous okay yeah i'm just really gonna go past this road or down this road and just see what the pi is and then i'll see you guys back okay this is so weird Ooh, why do i have two drones again this is so weird um this is a massive town like a miniature town but as one pi so on the map it looks like one pi ah, i should probably see what it is over there let me just quickly kill this all right that one's going away i want to see what's over here Coming enemies, prepare for conflict. Okay, yeah, and uh, nope, 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 nope. No, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Immediately demons and demolishes and stuff. That's not our cup of tea, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna quickly see if you can't go to back to the base, drop all the stuff off. I need to eat, drink, I need to make a repair kit for this vehicle as well, because it's been taking some serious pounding from the terrain. And then, yeah, we need to see if we can't make that last um, book, that last mastery book. Guys, this game might have its problems, but I mean, these sunsets and these views are amazing. I mean, look at that, how the sun just shines. Obviously, you have to have, like, ultra settings and stuff to really appreciate it. But yeah, ju just the amount of detail and the progress it's made from, like, Alpha 9 and there, but that's where I'm really started, Alpha 9. Insane. I can remember Alpha 9 trees, Alpha 9 zombies. It almost looked like Minecraft characters. And now, just look at the amazing view. Okay, so this is weird. I just looked at my inventory over here and it showed 20% resistance. Took everything off, put it back on, still 20. Took it off and then slowly... I've... So there's a lot of lag at the, on the game at the moment. I'm going to have to restart after this episode. 
But damn. Also, I'm going to see if I can't make a ton of um, healing for myself over here. So I'm going to uh, cook up all of this. I should actually use my uh, modern pestles off top as well. And I want to fill this one as much as I can with bandages. Because I want to show you guys something quickly. I have uh, come to a little bit of a decision. Finally, we have our last class over there, right? I also went and I made myself some of these generic notes. All we do is read this and we get a skill point per one we read. We could have made one more if we had 12 more notes over here. Unfortunately, we ran out. Now that we have to, now that we have this, I think some of you might already know what I'm trying to do. Now I can go completionist. No, no, no. Completionist, you can't get until you have everything. All the skills of the classes and the class mastery. So this one, I need to buy. That's why I actually have these extra points. This. Completionist. Boom. So now we have basically completed the game. <laughs> um, we have not done the big bunker yet. And I know a lot of you might not like this. I'm not going to do the big bunker this series. I always end off uh, my series with the bunker. And I just feel like there's no point. And usually even though it's a warrior series. I always up the difficulty to warrior settings. Or to insane settings and then do it anyways. And we've done it in um, Feral Sense mode as well. So what I'm going to do is for this series. Instead of ending it on this POI. We are going to go, actually go past the cool PR on this side as well. Uh, where was it? There is a prison over here that I want to loot. Uh, it looks really, really cool. And then when I go and do these other uh, prisons as well. Now, if we have enough time left, wait, where are they? Yeah, I want to do this one, this prison, and then this prison as a series finale. There was also another POI that I was, was thinking of doing, but uh, yeah, like a massive missile silo. But yeah, just a revamp one of one we have done in the past before. It's so unnecessarily huge that I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I want to go and definitely do these pure eyes on the bottom. Um, these two we're going to do as a series finale. And if we have time left, even if it's a little bit over time, I want to go for this prison. This looks like a massive open prison yard with like fences and stuff around. And then this one is more of like a brick wall and stuff. So yeah, now we have the game complete, guys. There's no point in going to the big bunker because we don't need red notes. We don't need laser tech because we can make our own. We don't need... There's no point in going there except for like the notes. So yeah, unfortunately that means I didn't completely complete the quest because I didn't finish the last storyline quest. But like I have said guys, we've we've done that POI so many times. Do I really want to end the series like that? Um, And also don't worry. I, I'm saying end series, but... Okay, let me do this. At the moment we're doing Darkness Falls and Apocalypse Now. I'm going to swap out Darkness Falls with Undead Legacy as a video series. And then I'm going to swap the Undead Legacy stream with the Darkness Falls. So our next series, I'm actually going to go for like easy settings, Nomad or Warrior or whatever. And like a half XP or something like that. So we can explore everything. And because it's during streams, you guys will be able to see me mine. You'll be able to see me explore. I like play this mod, all that kind of stuff. And then also I'm thinking of uh, swapping out Apocalypse Now, if it's not close to done. Um, with Exciter's Extreme, because I also want to try that mod. How do you guys, I don't, I don't ever get known as the Darkness Falls guy. I want to get known as the Seven Days to Die guy. <laughs> so I'm going to try as many of these as possible and not just get stuck on a single one. So hopefully you guys agree with me and you don't, you aren't too mad at the fact that I'm doing this right now. But yeah, it's going to be fun going for pure eyes that we haven't done before. Well, this we've done in the past, in Alpha 19. This one we haven't done before, and then this one we haven't done before. It's completely new combat for your eyes. There's going to be a ton of demons and stuff. I'm going to make sure these are repaired. Yeah, we are going to have fun. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, feedback, give it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.